Conscious thinkers, welcome back to the God Vibration. Let's tap in with some guardian angel messages. I'm going to take my time and see what I get because, you know, with this deck, I like to go off of the imagery of the angels um, within this one. So I split the deck. Let's pull three from this and three from the other split. Six of Cups, Six of Water, Queen of Air, Queen of Swords, Ooh, I feel like you're getting a lot of information, um, but the Six of Cups, this is tapping me into very, like a dreamy state. So a lot of information from the dream state. This could be when you're asleep or this could be through meditation, okay? Maybe even daydreaming. We have ego, which I think is the devil. I just heard nightmares and dreams. Okay, so this is about your dream state. Ace of water at the bottom of that split, Ace of cups. So let's go. Nine of fire, two of earth. Nine of wands, two of pentacles. But it's protection right it's a protection nightmares and dreams you're being protected from nightmares the hermit this is someone let's say i don't know why this is about to get so specific let's say you're someone that's fasting right or let's say you have experience with fasting you don't have to necessarily be fasting at this time but within the experience of fasting god speaks to you it's like you receive certain visions right you see things differently because your mind is working from a different space a different energetic feeling right and within those visions, things become more clear, but hazy all at the same time, because God might reveal things to you, but your perception of what it is that is revealed to you determines whether or not it'll be a dream or a nightmare right so sometimes we can receive downloads of knowledge about a space or a person okay or a certain memory that we've already lived and we're, we're taken back to it within the dream but God reveals escape to you right a, a scenario that's how it's presented to you it's presented as a scenario and your perception determines whether or not it is a nightmare or a dream and depending on which one resonates with you it's how you respond when you're awake 
So if you perceive what God is showing you as a nightmare, then when you wake up, it's like you respond to the world as if you are living in fear of a nightmare or of it becoming true or of maybe it is true. You start to live within that energy, right? In this deck, it's called the ego. And you're not realizing that you have a certain power to control whether or not it is a dream or it is a nightmare because it's about your perception. So mm, I'm being tapped into lucid dreaming with this watery energy. It's like spiritual training, right? Where you have to train your mind to see that this bird is in the cage, but the door is open. It's not trapped and there's the key. So it's almost like, again, the devil, right? The devil wanting you to believe that in order for you to be free, you have to retrieve this key from the devil type of thing. However, this cage is not even locked. This bird could fly out and fly away. The devil couldn't do anything because the cage is being held in one hand and the key in another. The bird is free. This is an illusion. Your mind, your mind can trap you. What happens is the experiences of our life, tapping back into the Six of Cups, certain things that we may have gone through in the past, right? It kind of traps us. It traps us in a way of being, of thinking, of believing, of moving, of, you know, thinking like where. This, this balancing act that we try to play in life. See, like right now, my train of thought was thrown off just now, right? When I talked about this balancing act, because again, this is imbalance. This is like not knowing your own mind. So it's like I'm tapping in with an energy where you will know what it is that you're seeing but somehow it's something it's some sort of dependency in your life that you have to maybe comfort maybe repetition maybe things that you already know right so you see the unknown when God reveals things to you in a new way, you see that unknown as danger, as treacherous, as warning. Warning is just is like you don't allow yourself to move through the energies of new. Every time the new meets you, right? It's like you self-sabotage and you create a nightmare. Again, I said, I'm feeling the energy of lucid dreaming. You know that you're within the dream and yet you still act as though there has to be some sort of permanence to the energy that you're existing within you. I, I don't know. I don't want to keep tapping in with that. This kind of energy is stifling. I don't like to have this energy around. I don't like to really tap in with it or 
to be honest, I don't even enjoy bringing clarity to this energy because it already exists. A blind man could see. So when I feel the energy of intentional stagnancy, someone who intentionally creates lack and then this is a cry for attention this is a cry for attention ace of cups this is a cry for attention okay what i'm feeling right now is the energy of someone who sees that they can go left or right, continues to choose the same direction that leads them down a dark path. And then they cry out for help. But they knew where it would lead them because they've been there many times. They don't want the help. They want the attention so that they can continue to remain within that space where they find the comfort. See, that is a waste of time. Time is money. Wise counselor, the Hierophant, the Chariot, the Ace of Fire, the Star, the Six of Air. You're using your intuition, your higher power, your knowledge, and you're not allowing yourself to be stuck to anything. It's like someone trying to use gum, right? Chewing gum. Already chewed gum to keep you stuck to them. It has no strength. You get what I'm saying? Imagine someone taking chewed up gum sticking it to you trying to stick themselves to you with that chewed up gum and thinking like yeah this is for no get your raggedy ass baby we don't have the time we're not interested in the raggedy ass energy reading that might be this reading this reading might be a reading of i don't know, I don't know what the hell we do. did we talk about anything see what i'm saying was that even something to talk about i have no idea release 